What's going down everyone? It's your house Chris without an H. I decided to do a highly requested video which is how to fade 101. I'm going to show you all my technique I created but without further ado, let's get this haircut started. So for every haircut, I started off with a quick brush session. Basically, I grab my comb and brush the hair to its natural direction. That way everything can lay down and come out even. So my client's desired length for the top was a three and a half and basically for those who don't know what that means, it's basically a three guard with the lever fully open and right now I'll be going against the grain and run them clippers all around his head. So after that step, for my first guideline, I will grab my clippers with the lever fully closed. And my client asked for a high fade, so I will remove that C cup. And for the back, I kept it a bit more lower to fit his head shape. Once I finish this first guideline, I will begin going right under that using my trimmers and I do this that way I can bald it out as much as possible. And I forgot to mention that my clipper and trimmers are zero gap. Also flick once you get close to the first guideline. After that step, I begin to use my shaver and this is what gives the haircut and fade the pop and most importantly the grading seat to the fade. Take your time with the step because you don't want to cut your clients too and let the shaver do its job. I then grab my clipper and then I have the lever halfway open. If you followed all of the previous steps, you should have no problem with taking out the bald guideline. I will go about half an inch up all around the head and I'll make sure to make each guideline as consistent and as neat as possible. Right under where I did my previous guideline, I will have my lever 1 fourth open or 25% open. Then I will use my corners and flick just under that previous guideline and don't overdo it. Right after I'm doing that step, I have my lever 3 fourths open or 75% open. And then I go 1 fourth of an inch basically go around the whole head and just be consistent as possible. Once I'm done with those steps, I grab my wall one and a half guard and I close my lever all the way. I go up about a full inch and I go around the whole head. And honestly, I don't even struggle blending the zero to the lever open because I act like the half guard with the lever halfway open is basically like the clipper with the no guards with the lever fully open, if that makes sense. So my video cuts off and I start to use my most important guard, which is my half guard. And I go up that guideline with the lever halfway open and that will replace my lever open. 
and after that i will have the lever open and i'll flick carefully between that one and a half guard section and this is where the, all the blending occurs because without this step your fade wouldn't come out clean Then I use my number one guard lever fully open and then the lower I go I close the lever till I'm satisfied. If the number one guard didn't blend it fully, I go back and use the half guard and I use the fade down technique. I basically close the lever where it's needed. After that, I use my one and a half guard and then I have the lever halfway open and I go up about half an inch and after that, I open it fully and I go up about half an inch up again and I just flick out all around the head. I can still see some patches so I go back with my number one guard where it's needed at and to the barbers that have had years of experience please try this and tell me if this works for y'all. Once I'm done with basically the whole fade, I use my clipper over comb technique and I tilt my comb. That way my client can have that boxy look, if that makes sense. And that way it's not too short because trust me, you can go so wrong with this step. Just, just go up and tilt the comb not too much and run the clippers. Once I'm satisfied with the fade, I proceed to do my client's lineup and I will try to keep it as straight and as sharp as possible. For the picture perfect looks, I added enhancements to the lineup and this will fill any light spots on the lineup area. And the last step is to use a straight eraser and for the best results, I would highly suggest going against the grain and your clients will definitely appreciate it too. Damn, what y'all guys think about this cut? I think it came out pretty good for a 16 year old barber. Let me know your thoughts in the cut in the comment section down below. But anywho, it's your boy Chris and I'm out of here. Peace.
and just enjoy the end result. Thank you.